All right, what's going on today? My name is Josh and we're going to go ahead and show you how to create your groups inside of MailerLite. Now, if you didn't know already, it's a little bit different than other platforms and how to create your lists. They're called groups in MailerLite and we're gonna get into that right here for you. All right, so here I'm on my MailerLite dashboard, and what I'm gonna do is I am actually going to just go right into showing you that on the left side, you're gonna notice you're not gonna see anything called lists, but you do see subscribers. And inside subscribers, when you click in there, again, you're not gonna see anything called lists. But what you do see is this little section here, there's segments and there's groups. We're gonna to wanna to go over and click on groups and you're gonna see I do have a couple of groups in here already. I am in process of filming a longer video for doing a full walkthrough, but I just wanted to show you real quick on how you do this. So you go to subscribers, you go to groups, you click on create group and it's as simple as just putting in the name of your group. Now, there are some questions people say, well, is there anything I can do with this group? You've got a rename, you've got a split, that's pretty much it. There isn't a lot of different things that you can do in terms of naming the group or doing any sort of um, you know, customization. But what you can do, so you can go in to view the group. And once you are in here, you do have some other options in terms of setting up you know, any sort of segmentation inside the group itself. You've got ways to do things like clean up inactive, which this is a really cool feature. I did talk about this in one of my other videos, but you have the ability to see who's inactive on your list and you can either try to put them in like a win back campaign or you can just remove them. So their time frame is six months, but you can specify a specific duration for that cleanup inactive as well. And there is some options down here too for at least 12 months, 24 months, or never opened. So fairly simple there, but just remember that you're not gonna find the list of groups or lists on the left side of MailerLite. You have to click on subscribers and then you have to click on groups and then you can see your groups inside there. And so if you like this video and want cool little quick tips about other email marketing platforms, especially ones like MailerLite and GetResponse, please go ahead and hit the like button down below, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I put out new content like this. And have yourself a great day.